welcome back to another episode of Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing. Today, I am out at the pond again. It is very windy and it's kind of cloudy, but we're gonna try and catch some fish. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I'm just gonna film myself and I'm gonna show you every decision I make, every lure I try until we find the fish, kind of like a breakdown. You basically get to see how I break down the water and how I find the fish. So, let's get at it. Oh, let's look here. What am I gonna use? What am I gonna use? I can throw some crankbaits, or I can also throw some jigs, or maybe a top water. Um, let me look here. Let me look in the jig box real quick. See what we got. Um, yeah, I think it's what I do. All right, so the lure I'm going to start out with is an all-terrain skipping jig with a rage tail craw on the back of it, and we'll see what happens. All right guys, first fish of the day. Not a bad fish, little chunk, but probably about a pound and a half. Smoke that swim jig. I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty good day. Let's keep fishing. All right guys, so a couple things that keyed me in to that first fish. Number one, as soon as I walked into the shore, I could see minnows kind of splashing around the shore. Now usually on this pond, that means that the bash, the bash, yeah, the bash. The bass are, are schooling the minnows up against the shore and they're, and they're kind of like, they kind of herd them up against the shore and they kind of attack them. So that, that's what kind of tipped me off as soon as I came here, I saw the minnows, you know, doing that. And usually when, when the bass are chasing the minnows like that, a swim jig works fairly well. Secondly, water right now, pretty dingy. And so I didn't, I didn't want to throw like, let's say like a soft plastic or something, something real light because the fish just weren't going to be able to see it as well. So I decided to throw, you know, the swim jig has got some thump to it. It's got a nice bulky profile. And as you can see, it worked for us. So let's keep fishing and see if we can't get something else. Remember when you're fishing muddy water like this, is be thorough. If this water was really clear, I'd make one cast to keep moving. But since it's so dirty, I'm going to make three or four casts in the same area just to make sure I do not miss any of those bass. This is the shot. This is the shot here. This is the money shot. The money shot. This is the money shot. Shut up, Brendan. You're talking. Oh crap! I lost him. No. No. Yeah. Stupid fish. No, but hit again. Hit again. Oh. No, I missed him again. I was so distracted talking to you guys. See what you did? I'm getting all hot worked up. Time is a charm. Ooh, he's a good fish too. Look at this guy. Nice fish. Feisty. Look at this guy. Beautiful bass. Smoked it three times. Finally nailed him. Oh my goodness. My hair looks like a rat's nest. But who cares when you're catching fish like this, right? Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that guy. Feisty little dude. Hey guys, here's a quick tip for you. I'm just, I was just throwing my jig and you can see it's got a little bit of weeds on it. Now most people wouldn't think this is a big issue, but what I always try and do, doesn't matter how small the amount of weeds, I always like to clean it off. Because you never know. If, if you know, fish see weeds all their life, I'm sure they know what they look like. And usually bluegill don't swim around with weeds attached to their foreheads. My hair's blowing, look at that. It's blowing again. Unbl I should have brought hairspray. You probably won't catch as many fish if you have weeds on your bait, so just, just take the extra time, clean it off. It may help you in the long run. And there's another fabulous tip from Brendan Miller. I'm in a weird mood today, sorry. Come here, you little junior. Come here. Way too small. 
small to be acting that tough. Way too small. The little guy made an awesome leap though. Let's get him back. Another awesome fish. This is this is pretty good. Pretty good, boys and girls. Just eating the swim jig up, and my hair still looks like a rat's nest. Woo! Nice. Sweet. Happy harvest, whole kernel, sweet corn. No artificial flavors or preservatives. It's not that great. Oh, there's one. Saw him smoke it. Saw him smoke it. Yes. Fish are so energetic today. Oh my goodness. Fish are so energetic. There's another nice fish. Woo! -wee. Excitement reigneth. Even though these fish are like these fish, all these fish are on Red Bull. I guarantee it. They're just crazy, flopping and jumping and flopping. Nice. Ah! Wearing my thumb out. You know you've had a good day of fishing when your thumbs all tore up like this. Look at that. Those bass really did a number on it. My favorite bait. Oh my goodness! Did you see that? I don't know if you got that on camera. Just, woo, that's one of the biggest ones of the evening, right there. Woo wee! Scared the living bejeebies out of me. Look at that guy. Nice! Scared me so bad. He just came up to the shore and just went Poof. Just swiped it like a a bass, I guess. Sweetness is awesome. Boy, boy. Well, guys, that about does it for this episode. Hold it, my phone's ringing. Hello? Yeah, I'm about, I'm about done. Alright, be home soon. Bye. Mom. <laughs> it's my mom. As I was saying, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, maybe subscribe to my channel if, if I've earned that today. Also, I made a video a while ago called How to Look Like a Pro Fisherman. It's, it's, I think it's funny. Click right here, or where? It's up there. It'll be up there somewhere. Click right there to watch that. I think it's funny. I think you'll laugh. So, I guess this is just me saying goodbye. So, goodbye.